everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Randy Savage, Icons of WrestleMania. Uh, Randy is a technician, and he is also a promoter. He is the powerhouse promoter. Uh, at 15k, your powerhouses are going to earn 40% higher score from the stipulation battles. He has the one link, the Icon of WrestleMania link, that's matching any color gems, uh, charge that move by one more MP, and he has the one gear, the Icon of WrestleMania gear. Uh, so let's get in here and take a look at Randy. I got four builds for you guys, a um, three star and three five stars. Um, uh, there's one move I'm not going to use, the back elbow smash. It's a three MP yellow, deal 24k damage and steal 20 botch gems. That would be useful for countering Randy. Um, Maybe a few other niche uses, but uh, we won't be seeing that one today, but that's what it does. We're going to start with the Diving Elbow Drop. Finisher, deal 90k damage, plus 14,000 bonus damage for every botch gem. Uh, it's a 14 MP green. The Knee Drop, deal 42k damage and choose three gems to make into green gems. It's a 9 MP yellow. And the Pile Driver, uh, 2 MP black. Deal 21k damage and make two random gems into three turn juggernaut gems that will make two random gems into botch gems on every countdown turn. And at the end when they break, it's a modify a 3x3 three three random area into botch gems. So for the entourage, we're going to run with Akam, four more yellow MP. Rizar to create four more green gems, so we're choosing seven. Triple H Blue Blood, mine's only 5k, but botch gems do 10% more damage. That makes the finisher deal 15k plus for each botch gem. Um, and then Rikishi to charge yellows by one more turn if we need to recycle. Uh, Macho's a pretty solid card. He does have uh, very high charge moves. That is the downside, and a lot of times he's not the greatest recycler. So... Though you want to put him away with the finishers and hopefully not have to recycle. We're going to against, go against Drew on the road. I have a class advantage. He's strapped. We're not. Uh, plus two MP to start and plus one on a match for my tour perks. Going to start off with the Juggernaut gems and you're looking for a yellow match turn one, which we do have, which is nice. Instead of Rikishi, you could also use like 9k uh, Zombie Sasha for extra chance at uh, yellows on the starting board. And that is a big time bummer because um, it broke our double reinforced juggernaut gem. So that's not good. Um, ideally, what you want to do with this one is match into a green gem to get an extra tick on the countdown gems. I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to set up a five match here and hopefully not force a pin. And we'll do one right here, just for funsies. So if we don't force a pin like this, we get an extra tick on the countdown gems. Um, and that's quite helpful. Because what we want to do is get to when it throws out those um, two 3x3 three three areas. In this case, because he broke ours, um, it's only one 3x3 three three area, but I was able to get two turns. So there's that 3x3 three three area that went out. Now we have a choice, and the choice for me is pretty easy because we don't have enough juice to pin him. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take the yellow match here. get some more botch gems out if we have to now we can recycle now in the next turn we're gonna have some more botch gems um, right there there we go now we can hit the finisher so we got botch gems all over on the board. Hit for, well, I think, over 400k there. Yeah, 470k. And he's going to have a hard time kicking out with all those botches. So there you go. Um, that's how it's designed to work. We were a little bit unlucky um, in that he broke one of our Juggernaut gems. 
since they are double reinforced. That doesn't happen very often at all. But you can see it, it takes a little bit of setup and a little bit of time, uh, but it can hit very strong. So the next moveset we're going to take a look at is the triple green. And this is a five star moveset. All the rest of them from here on out will be five star. There's three variations that I decided to show. Um, we're going to bring in the sleeper hold, which is the five star move. And then we're going to bring in the diving double axe handle. So the sleeper hold is a 12 MP green submission. Um, it's uh, generate 33 random gems and do 24k damage for six turns uh, remaining turn into botch gems so that'll set up the finisher and then the diving double axe handle deal 60k damage and choose six botch gems to destroy i know it shows a finisher icon but it is not a finisher so it does not force a pin uh, potentially can help recycle or uh, get to the finisher if it's not loaded after the sub either way um, the recycle isn't great though, so you should know that. Uh, it can help get a couple charge, but these are very high charge green moves. Um, we need a green match to start, so hopefully we can get one of those. We're gonna go with Steel for starting green MP. I'm gonna go with Angle. You could also go with Austin 316. They do the same thing as far as this card is concerned. Austin is any color, uh, sub does damage and angle is green, uh, both 50%. So I'm gonna just go with, oops, wrong one. And the reason uh, I'm not going with Bray is it's only about 20,000 more damage and uh, it's way more turns, so we're gonna lose more botch gems. I'm gonna go with angle, that buffs the sub to 37,000. And then we're gonna go with Bruno to buff the sub even more. That's going to do 350k damage um, over seven turns. The downside to this build is a lot of the botch gems do get destroyed. So sometimes you don't have enough juice to uh, end the match against a strapped opponent. If I went against Vader, um, it would be over uh, quite easily. Um, but going against a strapped Drew, it's less likely that it is over for sure. Um, and I just want to show the possible issues with this triple green. Um, also go on Ember Moon, 15% chance of initial greens to hopefully get that green match. If we don't have the green match turn one, we're going to have to play defensively and try to not let Drew match blues. So hopefully we don't see a bunch of blues on this board. This is good. We have our green match and there's not a bunch of blues. So perfect. That gets the sub loaded. Um, we won't be ready the first turn after the sub, it'll be the second turn, but uh, we can use the diving double axe handle to pick up a green if we need to. Could also um, hold the sub for one more turn, um, and I think I might actually just do that. And that worked out because we got more green gems on the board anyway. So let's see how many botch gems we end up left with. A few. Um, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 17, uh, which is a good amount, actually. So, let's 17 and 14k a pop. We're probably looking at about a 300k finisher. Um, he doesn't have a red match, so I'm going to go for it. Also, um, I don't really want to destroy the botch gems, so... I'm going to take the 50k, nah, I'm just going to hit the finisher, and I'm going to leave that in case we need to recycle. Uh, by the time he reduces it, it's probably only 40k damage, so we'll go with this and see if we can keep him down. And the Cascade got him out.
and he took green gems. But we have the green swipe here, and we have to recycle, so I'm going to take it again, saving the... Uh, I'll hit this. We won't force a pin. I'm going to be a little bit greedy, and hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me. Actually, let's leave this one. And we'll take that in case we can get a green to drop in. Okay, good. It did not. But you can see it's really high charge moves here. So, um, that is the downside to this build, certainly. You're going to try to not hopefully give him any blues or reds. Okay. No more greens we can get, but he is very close to being down, so. This should finish it with the swipe. And there we go. So, a little bit close, uh, but we got him down with it. Uh, most in most of macho cases, I think strapping him double armor would be the clear way to go um, With those botches making it hard to kick out and the cheap shot plate um, Definitely the way to go with macho Okay, so let's look uh, take a look at a tricolor five-star build next That match made me sweat a little bit wasn't sure we were gonna get there Okay, so we're going to keep the sleeper hold in, and we're going to bring in the atomic drop, which I haven't used yet. I'm going to bring the knee drop back. And keep the sub in. So there are a few different ways you can run this. This is, um, this is my attempt to be as fast as possible uh, with this build. So I am going to use two MP trainers, even though uh, the black would be ready turn two. This is me trying to see how fast you can make um, macho. So for people that want to get them started quickly. I'm sorry, I'm using one MP trainer, uh, <laughs> but um, you don't need Bray. Um, if you want to be ready turn two. So we're using uh, Rizar to uh, have that good choose move. And um, we're using Bray so we can hopefully load it turn one. We are throwing a lot of random gems, so it's possible uh, we'll force a pin. Going to keep Bruno in there and uh, run with uh, Hall of Fame Booker T to choose one more yellow. Or actually not choose, but make one more random yellow. So turn one, we're chucking a bunch of yellows um, and hopefully not forcing a pin and then doing the choose move to set up the sleeper hold um, for turn two. You could also toss Rikishi on there instead of Booker T. You could do um, Hogan. Um, a lot of different ways you could go. So we're going to throw out our yellows. Perfect. Um, you can look to set up a uh, recycle with the black or the yellow, um, whichever is easier. Black only takes four, so like here's a good example. We can get that black to drop in, um, probably catch a yellow as well, and um, we can also get a five match here. So have an effective choose move and um, recycle the black. And the sub we were just looking for the damage for. So toss this out, let it do its let it do its thing. It's a very nice sub. The botches are just a little extra bonus on this build. Um, this is, build's pretty effective because the black is easy to refill. Uh, so it's probably his best build for recycling. 
And uh, two cycles through and pretty much uh, any five star bronze is going to be dead. A lot of pin bar to work with here. Uh, so it's possible we could even maybe get the sub off this turn depending on how these matches go. Let's see. And we have recycled the black itself, so we need 11. Um, so three sets of three would do it. One, and that's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine's all we have, so um, can't get it on this turn. That's okay, though, um, because he's nowhere close to his moves. Do you have some botch gems? Don't need to worry about the recycle. Um, but it's good habits to build. Of course, he snagged a five match. It's okay, though. He's done here. I think. If not, the yellow move, the black move will get him. So, unless someone starts turn one, this is probably uh, the most effective way. Uh, very unlikely to lose. High board control. Um, really good damage. Fairly easy to recycle because the black move is so, so cheap. And this should do it. Okay, there you go. That's the tricolor. And the last move set uh, I'm gonna run is gonna be a double green move set. And again, this is an attempt to try and make it faster so I will be using two yellow MP trainers on this one to get the knee drop on turn one the downside is I'm only choosing two, three um, this would be a lot easier if I had Hall of Fame Scott Hall or Hogan and you could choose four so it would make it a lot easier for you as well um, probably would end up being his, potentially one of his better move sets uh, were that the case uh, but again, trouble recycling, so I'm going to bring the finisher back. Okay, and we're going to go with Akam and Beth to get started turn one. Also, uh, my Seamus is very low, so he adds 25% to botch gems, so not a huge amount. I know I haven't used him in any of the trainer sets. Uh, he is a trainer you absolutely could use um, in place of some of the others, depending how you wanted to go about it. Uh, mine is uh, severely under leveled though, so it's not a very big bonus to the botches. Um, Blue Blood maxed out would definitely make a difference too for all of these builds. Um, when it just almost doesn't have quite enough oomph, Blue Blood could potentially make the difference. So, all right, last move set. Here we go, double yellow, starting out with the knee drop. Have Ember Moon on there again for more greens on the starting board so we can hopefully set up at least two, three matches to start. Um, you can also potentially set up a five match if you want, depending on how it will help you.
So I could set up the five match um, and start going for a recycle with the yellow, or I can just take my green matches. So it's kind of um, trying to decide which is the best route to go. Okay, no yellows, that loads the sub, and I will would hold, hold the sub um, until you need to use it, which I do now, trying to get more yellows in case we need to recycle, which there's a good chance we will, uh, depends how many botch gems he leaves on the board for us. So definitely, um, I'm going to take the yellow to be safe, and then hit the finisher. Didn't lose any botch gems there. So just when you're doing these with Macho, you really got to play smart, unless you know you can finish him for sure. And Drew with the big cascade. Okay. And that'll do it for this build set. So, um, Macho's pretty solid, uh, can hit pretty hard. A um, little bit slow for my taste to load. I have the Trish preview left to do. I will try and get that done before work. Um, and then look for... I'm probably going to do like a overall video on how I rank all of them. Um, I still think Batista is my favorite. And I think Becky has moved up to my second favorite um, out of this first batch of promoters. Uh, with HBK being third, I think. Um, so... I'll probably do a video, kind of my thoughts on all the promoters overall. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments on Macho. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share. That helps me out. Other than that, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and good luck out there.